country? I don't even know. Hi everyone, if you're new, my name is Melinda, welcome to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you my AP Photography portfolio, which is also known as Studio Art 2D. I took the class and submitted my portfolio last year when I was a senior in high school, so I'll just be showing you the images that I submitted and the writing section. And yeah, I scored a 5 on the exam, so I'm going to show you my 12 concentration images, and then the breadth images, I think it was 6, 5 or 6 prints. Starting off with concentration, my theme was reflections and it actually took me a while to come up with this theme because I wasn't sure if I could come up with 12 images like completely different and unique related to reflections. Now let's start with the first image. I took two photos and put a black and white filter over it. So the lady holding the mirror is actually my neighbor and I asked her if she could just pose there and hold the mirror up. So the girl inside the mirror is also one of my friends. So what I did is I used Photoshop's lasso tool and I selected the inside of the mirror, added a layer, and then made the bottom layer transparent. I took the young girl's photo and put it on top. I put a black and white filter over just to make it more cohesive and so I didn't have to like color correct the lighting. So this photo is of my friend Ashlyn and um, I brought a mirror to our photo shoot and it turned out exactly how I wanted it to. I used a similar photoshop edit with the lasso tool and just photoshopped the inside mirror part with a different photo of her. For the clouds in the back, they are completely fake. I just added an overlay. After I put the overlay, I exported it and put another like slight filter or edit that I created. So for this third picture, I actually took it like over a year before I submitted my portfolio with no intention of it being in my portfolio and yeah made a super cold tone blue moody edit on it. Photo number four, I used the same mirror from the second photo and I placed it on the floor and I had her kind of like reach towards it. I stood in the same like level as she was and made sure I wasn't in the shot and just snapped a photo. For the fifth photo, this was originally a horizontal photo and as I will explain later because I mentioned it in my like written part of my portfolio, I purposely rotated it to be vertical so that the reflection was more apparent. I also took this like spontaneously during a photo shoot and found the photo and I was like, okay, this works. So for the sixth photo, I bought a Dollar Tree mirror and then I had her angle it in a way that would show her face. And then for the seventh photo, I took this in Chicago. It was during... 2017 or 2018 I forget yeah I was on a family vacation once again did not intend for this to be my portfolio at all but since it showed reflections I decided to include it for photo number eight I took a trip to the Phoenix Art Museum at this point I think I knew that I needed more reflection photos so I I think there was a mirror already there and I had her hold it up for photo number nine this is of one of my other friends in the photography class we went on a we went on like a 25 person photography class trip last March. This photo was taken in Italy, I believe. Wait, no. This photo was taken in Es, France. There was just a mirror kind of propped up on the floor. I had her put her hand out and just look at herself in the mirror and snapped it from like the left side of her at an angle where I couldn't see myself. For photo number 10, I did not want to include this photo because it wasn't my best work, but since I was running out of photos and the deadline was coming up, I decided to use it. Um, it's of the same girl in photo 2. I actually did not use Photoshop at all. You can't see me because she's angling the mirror towards the left, which is good. For photo 11, this was actually during a senior photo shoot. And for the last photo, um, it's the same mirror and the same girl. And I told her to pose sort of like with emotion. Yeah, I'm really happy with how it turned out. So now onto the breath images. So if you're taking the exam, you probably already know this, but in the breath section, you have to submit 12 photos that are completely different and showcase like your variety of photography skills. I really tried to submit different photos, even if they weren't necessarily like my best photos. It was actually really challenging to come up with 12 completely different photos. So there can't be like two portraits or like two animal pictures and stuff like that. So for the first photo, I took it in Seoul, South Korea. There were actually a lot of people in the background. I photoshopped them out and I'll insert the before and after over here. And the lady in the hanbok in the middle, I think she was a tourist actually just trying on the traditional Korean dresses. I was with a tour guide at the time too, but I saw her and I was like, oh my gosh, wait, no one else is wearing this. For the second photo, I took this in the Wonder Spaces Museum in Scottsdale, Arizona. Yeah, that is my friend and I don't even think she was posing, she was just walking by. The balloons are actually an art installation by Tadao Cern and it showcased like really cool symmetry. I removed all the yellows in the photo so that the background became as white as possible. For 
the third photo, it was taken in Cinque Terre, Italy. It was super cloudy. And there was a fence like right below the palm tree. Is that a palm tree? I don't even know. And I photoshopped that out. For the fourth photo, this was taken during sunset at the Arizona Balloon Classic, which is a hot air balloon festival. They had four different bike shows at the festival. During the very last one, they turned on like the fire things that heat the balloons up. And I thought it looked really, really nice with like the colors of the sunset. For the fifth photo, this is of my friend and we were at Wonder Spaces once again. They had this string installation. I did not intend for this photo to be included in my portfolio, but I ran out of images that were completely different. For this photo, it was taken at Tempe Town Lake in Arizona. And I think I waited like 30 minutes for the sun to go down so that the bridge lights would come on. Oh, it got really bright. Okay, sorry about that. So for this photo, um, it was taken at the Lantern Festival in Florence, Arizona. This is also my friend. And I told her to kind of run around and pretend like she was playing in the fields. Kind of very carefree, happy sort of vibe. And yeah, I applied a super warm edit on it. This photo was taken just hours after the previous one at the Lantern Festival. I actually photoshopped a lot of the lanterns in just copy and pasted the existing lanterns. Yeah, this photo was originally a full body portrait. So I told my friend to sit on the ledge next to the water and sort of like move her hand back and forth in the water. And then I cropped it down a lot to just showcase her hand. And then I put a black and white filter over it. This photo was also taken in Seoul, South Korea. I really, really like the colors in this one. I was originally going to Photoshop the two people sitting down. I decided that it added more life to the photo and included it. This photo was taken in Switzerland. There were a bunch of swans just sitting Sitting there they wouldn't really move so it was really nice to get close-up shots of them for the last photo this is a simple portrait and it was taken during golden hour so it was really nice to play with like the warm edits and those were my 12 breath images so now on to the printed part of my portfolio I had to mail in five printed images that I thought were my best I think or just any photos that I wanted so my first photo was the one in my breath section already it turned out really nice super glossy the print actually came with like a white border so we had to use an exacto knife and cut off the edges and then using photo adhesive we would um, put it onto the back of the photo and then cut off the excess of that adhesive we used like a pencil to mark where the corner should be so that it was even on all sides. We put it under this pressure roller um, like two times just to make sure it was secure to the mat board. For the next photo, it's of Switzerland. The next photo, it was included in my breast section already. And for the fifth and final photo, this was taken in Italy. The colors are just beautiful from the sunset, so I really wanted to print it. Okay, so in the concentration part of your portfolio, you can add commentary. So the first question was, what is the central idea of your concentration? I said my concentration was centralized around reflections. Reflections can be interpreted in various ways from deep emotional interactions to physical scenarios. Errors are used throughout my concentration as I perceive them to be a form of reflecting truth. Through spiritual symbolism, someone's reflection can reveal their true feelings, fears, passions, and beyond. It's a truly beautiful concept that puts a pause on life amidst the chaos of worldly issues. And for the second question, it says, how does the work in your concentration demonstrate the exploration of your idea and refer to like specific images as examples? I said, I capture different settings using similar reflective surfaces. So like the same mirrors repeated throughout several images. In image two, a girl portrays an outwardly standoffish persona. However, she's a carefree person once those emotional boundaries are broken. Countless people do not like what they see in the mirror and tend to focus on negative traits rather than their positive impact on other people's lives. In a sense, the girl's a reflection of my own personality. I purposely rotated image five counterclockwise to create a vertical rather than horizontal emphasis on the dust reflection in the water. The way people perceive and interpret the surrounding world often becomes skewed, whether in a reflection or through the lens of a camera. So that was my AP photography portfolio from last year. And if you guys want to see some of my recent work, you can go over here. Thank you so much for watching. If you have any video requests, just leave them in the comments down below. Don't forget to like and subscribe. I will see you in my next video.